I think we just keep our team the same for the next level because they're still... This is basically the same wave except two gusting kind of suck. Kind of sucks. We're going to keep the same setup though, I think. Because... Well, I, I think... This is the only way we would. These Gustins are going to shred us to pieces, I'm sure. We just need the Gustins not to hit our main damage dealers. That's pretty much it. Gustin is another one of those super scary enemies because he just transfers all that damage. Luckily, Gustins were linked to the front, too, and I'll definitely take that over the majority of those situations. Oh, this is sketchy AF. Chills with the tier one. Thank you so much, man. Oh no. Oh no. Don't kill us. Don't kill us. Come on. Kill them. Kill them. Nuke them. Die. Die. No. <laughs> oh my god. We just got obliterated by Augustine Ping. Uh, thank you so much, Shills. Appreciate it, man. Your Mockman's not sublimed? Yes. He's sublimed up to the third branch. I'm hoping that DTV will help me get through 232. He's been fun, but you really need him like fully invested in it, it feels like. It doesn't seem like Jara's core is doing anything unless I forgot to put it on somehow. We need some heroes to stay alive to eat the Gustin pings, essentially. That is like our only chance of winning here. Okay, there's CC. That's good. Get okay, big healing here, but then the Gustin is going to ping us. No. Okay, that's fine. Vesta staying alive is huge because that just ate the ping from the Gustin. That's good. Next round, though, we need to kill the Gustin. Otherwise, we're dead. Okay, we got this. We got this. Gustin dies. We don't take any ping damage. We have balance strike for healing, which is good. One more big active. Clears it out. And that's what I like to see. There we go. Mockman barely doing anything, to be honest. <laughs> oh, my God. What are these waves? What are these waves here? All right, I need to put you back in the back row. This is just crazy. The sheer amount of Eloise we're facing. And then now Gustin's. These waves are so not fair. It's turned into a Gustin party. It's a shadow mean team here. Kind of want Aspen to get the fear effect on all of them. Ooh, we got it on the Annabelles. That's pretty good. We need the Annabelles not to hit the active on our Vulcan. Oh, God. The Gustin's already on our Vulcan. Oh, shoot. All right. We got to kill both Gustin's in one active right here, essentially. <laughs> Otherwise, we might be dead. Yep, we're dead. Oh, my God. The Gustin's are so stupid. <laughs> It just comes down to RNG. Ah, oh, so stupid. So stupid. We'll keep the jar core for now, but it feels like it's not doing anything. Yeah, Gustin is just like triggering me right here. I guess since there's only I mean there's two Eloise, I guess we'll keep it the way it is. What does Gustin Ping do? It basically transfers damage he receives to the linked target. And since they're taking a ridiculously high amount of damage in this game mode, their pings do a ton of damage. Like, you see my... I'm, I'm just dying here. I'm probably going to die before I even get an attack off. Well, actually, not too bad. We have to kill the Gustins. Or, oh, my God. This is bad. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Why does it keep linking with my Vulcan? Put him not against the, uh, the Gustin. Let's change this up to um, it's just not doing anything. We're going to go back to yours. Do something like that. We need a skip button so bad. I mean, that's why we have to run the macro sometimes. <laughs> this is very much a beatable wave, though. This isn't like some of them that we face where it just feels like I have no. I, it's just going to take a million attempts. It's going to take a few attempts. This shouldn't be bad. Why not try offensive setup on Vulcan and hope he doesn't get targeted? I mean, that is an option. The problem is the Scarred Souls are what was killing us previously from the Eloise, and I don't want to die too fast from those. Oh, we lost the Jar. That kind of sucks. 
But everybody else is pretty healthy. Mockman might actually get another active off. Nope, never mind. <laughs> ah, the Annabelles, no. The Annabelles convert it to a heal. That's so bad. We might actually get an active off, though, and it might be a strong one. We'll see. No, oh, well, never mind. He's still got the stupid dread puppet thing. Uh, I ran an article here for four days straight to clear the Sherlock Holmes ticks wave. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. Actually, let's go back to the Vessa one. Vessa just gives a little bit of extra life. I wish we could make our star or not a star shores of an Aquaman, our uh, a Vulcan slower. That way we could get energy for round one, but he's just so dang fast. There we go. We got the fear effects. I like that. Jara's still healthy, which is good. She'll get an active off here. Oh, God, I hope she will. Ugh, this is not great, though. We're going to get the Dread Puppet, and then we're done for. We have to. Just like we have to CC those Annabelles. It is our only, only option. It is our only option. Maybe we should go for an active in round one again. And get like a round two active as well. Oh, man. Do you think it'd be helpful to swap Star Swordsman and Mothman? I mean, we could try to go for, like, the maxed out core, but, like, nah, it's just, we'd have to put Sword Flash in, and we'd have to put Azrael in, and then I don't think that would be worth very much to us, honestly. Why not swap Fairy Queen Vesa and Vulcan position? Does that do much? Super tanky asthma would be cool. Yeah, that's true. This wave, yeah, the dread puppets come in and then we just get like obliterated anyway. Maybe you try going back offensive again. Maybe. The gust has just messed things up so bad. Oh, Annabelle lowers front row crit, but you get you don't get puppet. I mean that's true, but that's if yeah. We could try that and keep him in the front row. Good lord, why is our first attempt that we try offensive Gustin's already linked to him? Uh He's just gonna die right here. <laughs> He's gonna take so many pings. With, oh wait, I didn't even realize both Gustins were linked to him. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's so stupid. Hey, what should a next trans be? Sword Flash. I mean, it's kind of up to you at that point, King. Like, you got a lot of freedom on that since you already have all the mains. Gustin Link is random. Yeah. We can try just putting him in the front row and see how it works out. Might work out. We'll have to see. Because then if he doesn't get Dread Puppet, that is good. Maybe we should go back to a tanky setup. Maybe we should just build a pure tanky setup on this entire wave. Do you think that would do anything running crowns on everybody instead of energy? Of course, linked again. Uh, that's not great. That had potential if we did get one more active off. What purify? Ah, uh, yeah, I guess like the purify doesn't matter right now because we did have it on dot for the Horus. We could just go for damage because there's like or attribute. Damage or attribute. Let's try damage first.
See where this one's linked. Oh, they're both linked to queen. I guess that's not horrible. Okay, Gustin's aren't going to do any pink damage now. This is actually looking kind of good. This is not bad. Oh, they're both linked to the Vulcan. Are you shitting me? How is this a thing? How does this keep happening? <laughs> oh, I'm doing okay. As good as I can be doing this game mode. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. This is rough. Uh, I mean, like, we had the CC and everything down. It's just they linked to the Vulcan on instead. And that just made us go boom and evaporate. That was actually a really, really good attempt. I wonder if I do need to go back to balance strike on the Vulcan though for healing. Again, Vulcan gets hit with one of those. It's so stupid. Random my buttocks. And the other thing that sucks too is like even if they're CC'd, they still get that ping damage. Oh, a round two active would have been huge. I wonder if we should get rid of the pings. Because the pings are actually transferring more damage to us, which is annoying. I wonder if we just put her in the back. Star Swordsman Mockman feels useless in this lineup. He's been softening the waves enough for Vulcan to win with the second active. That's why he's been doing it. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Patron. Second baby on the way. Yup. Queen dies. That's fine. Whatever. Again, just don't target the Vulcan at round two, Jar Gustin's. I almost said Jara's. Okay, that's fine. You're targeting the Jara, actually. Okay, we could get a round three active here, maybe. Oh, come on, right here. Not enough nearly at all, my goodness. All right, back to crown. Crown just feels like the way that we got to run this one. Damage reduction, yeah. That's probably going to be the way we have to run him. Honestly, if we're running crown, I kind of want to go back to balance strike on him as well. We could just try crown on everybody. You could try Asmo instead of Machman to reduce their armor. I mean, that's potentially good. A and B is just horrible when you get up to this, this difficulty, guys. Like, I've tried A and B on so many heroes, but once you get to this really high difficulty, uh, they're just doing so much damage that the attack lowering damage doesn't do anything compared to a crown. At least that's my take. I don't know how you guys have felt on it. The really good active in round two... Okay, the Gustas are still not linked to him. Granted, he's not going to get an active this round. Oh, Mockman killed them off. Nice. Wait, we get another active right here. Did we get it? Come on. Come on. Mockman, yeah, that's fine. Mockman actually froze her. Oh. And there we go. Screw the Gustas. Oh, my God.